So welcome to the world's famous automation testing tool, Unified Functional Testing. As discussed earlier, Unified Functional Testing is a new QTP. So the earlier name of UFT was QTP and even we have discussed like what the differences between the QTP and UFT, right? Now let's heading up with UFT now on the screen. So first screen it is trying for the license warning. So I'm running a trial here. So you can just click on continue as if now. This is the first screen of your UFT, Unified Functional Testing. It's 12.51 is the one what you are looking at. So these are the add-ins what I have. Like while installing it, you can select the add-ins. So what are these add-ins first of all? Like this add-ins will define you on which environment you are trying to work. I mean to say if you are working on web-based, select the web. If you are trying to work on Java, you need to select the Java. Before to that, we need to load that here in the add-in. I mean to say while installing it, you need to download the Java package. Only in that circumstances, the Java will be listed up here. As we have WPF and Silverlight, right? Same like that, we'll be having Java also. Java and licensed. So you need to check the Java. So here I have selected .NET. Means in this scenario, we need to select the appropriate application. Sorry, applications language. If you are working with Java, select the Java. If you are working with .NET, select the .NET. If you want any other WPF object, select the WPF objects. So that it loads appropriate files and it will be ready for it. So it doesn't happen if you load all this also, but basically it affects on the performance. So this will call it as an add-in manager, the very first screen of your UFT. So here we need to define on which application you are working on which applications environment the applications environment we need to define here so that it loads the files and it will be ready for us okay that is the first thing what you need to understand just click on okay it waits for few seconds on the screen once after loading it will take you to the very new uft tool So here we go. This is the first screen of your UFT. So it's describing what's new in UFT and the recent test components you can see it as new and open and the GUI form and all the details has been listed out here. The first one. So let me create a test. So for that, let me click on new, create a new test. So what type of test you need to make it out? So I need to go with GUI test. Just take this GUI test and you can go ahead with some test name. Let me take it as a test one. And this is the location where it's going to store your test. Just click on create. A new canvas will be opened on your screen. The new look of your UFT. And UFT, the speciality is everything you will be getting as a taps like this. So this is the action one what you are seeing on the screen. So here we go. This is the start, action and end canvas. So basically this is an excellent feature where which is implemented from 12. So we'll be having a look on this, the test flow as we move into the topics. But this is a test flow, but we are going to write the scripts in 
this actions basically so action one all these are the tabs here so now I have written action one so this area the white color major area what you are seeing on the screen this is basically known as test pane test pane so here we are going to write our VB scripting statements okay yes so we'll be having multiple actions that we'll be discussing as we move into the subject but here this is what the test pane is here we can see the test flow to your left solution explorer test one and action we'll be discussing about that and all these are the menu options what we have and all these are the icons new open add save save as and all this so we'll be having a look on all these things leisurely as we move into the subject i don't want you people i'm not going to force you people to learn all these things at once so as we move into the subject i will be discussing about each topic and by the end of the course you'll be familiar with all the menu options what you are seeing on the screen okay yes now the few things what we need to discuss is the test pane and the test flow and as well as this data table so this we call it as a data table basically data table it looks like an excel sheet right like what is the use of this so whenever we have a huge set of test data so all the data we will be writing in this excel sheet from that we will be parameterizing that to the test pane so that is the reason it's a very important part of your uft clear now let's go ahead and let's start our very very first test now before moving into the first test i need to discuss about few things that we'll be seeing in our next slide 